Hi there, welcome to Frugal Fall. Thanks for joining me today on this March afternoon. My name's Lara and if this is your first time here, thanks so much for checking out the video. This is a budgeting and frugal living lifestyle channel and at the moment I'm on a minimal spend March. So it's a no spend and low spend year. So month three has begun. It's a fresh start as spring comes, which is a fresh start for all of us and a nice uplifting time just around the corner. Not long now. I cannot wait till spring. So I'll show you. These are my seedlings at the moment. So they're coming along. There's some seedlings there, but um, I had a... <laughs> <laughs> had a bit of a mishap because Miss Bella decided to eat some of the seedlings when I had the cloche covers off them. So I'm having to just be super careful. Once the seedlings get a little bit bigger and there's a frosty period that's meant to be coming up possibly on the weather forecast. So next week when the weather is a bit warmer, I'm going to move the seedlings over to the allotment, either the, either the shed or the polytunnel to start letting them settle in there and then I'll wait and see. I've also today I've planted some more seeds, sown some more seeds so hopefully in the next two to three weeks another round of seedlings will appear and I'll keep repeating this process till probably about the last week in March and then I'm gonna plant seeds for another set of different kinds of veggies and herbs. Well the herbs is a separate thing I'll talk about that in another video um so yeah what I'll do is it, towards the end of the month I'll start growing another set of things and then two or three weeks later plant another set of seeds for those so there should be two separate batches of different veggies and flowers that grow that's the plan anyway so we'll see how that goes so also I'm going to show you these are some things that I've begun chopping. There's a bag of parsnips, some carrots. I have a very special visitor on her way and she is going to be my lovely assistant. So I've got the two chopping boards and knives ready, making a wee head start because part of what I'm chopping at the moment is going to be our lunch. So... Um, I'm going <laughs> to... It's kind of in reverse order. But this video is all about the first two weeks of, at the moment we're still in week one of no spend, low spend March, minimal spend March. But um, what I've done is I've tried something a bit different this time. Normally I buy all my fresh things in person and usually I'll like do a couple of top up shops each week at the moment. But what I've decided to do, normally when I do an online Asda shop, normally I buy just all my heavy things, especially Miss Bella's food. As you can see, she likes her food, don't you, Belle? So um, hopefully you saw her there. <laughs> so normally her tins are the priority for that. But what I decided to do this time, because I'm still building up my strength and my stamina and I'm still in my recovery at the moment from my broken arm. So I'm trying to think about how I can plan around online shopping to be more time efficient and save energy that I need for other things. So I've done a trial this month and I have had a big online Asda shopping delivered. So that has technically already happened. And the next part of today's video I've already filmed and that is showing you what I bought in the online Asda shop. So part of what I bought in the online Asda shop, a big part of it actually, is lots of fresh vegetables. So this is one of the things today while I have my special visitor is that we're going to be chopping a whole load of veggies together and she is going to lend me a hand with stuff like sweet potato, um, onions, things that are harder for me to cut and so I'm going to be like not everything but a lot of the veggies I'm going to like chop and freeze in batches. The space in the freezer now to do that and it keeps things lasting a lot longer 
and the fresh veggies. I've got most of the fresh veggies earmarked for certain recipes, certain meals that I'm planning to have through the month of March. So you'll find out all about that in future videos. So when she comes to visit, she is going to also lend a hand opening this because I can't manage. And that's a bottle of cider vinegar. So the reason that I've got the cider vinegar there and at the moment I'm just using a bit of white wine vinegar is in this bowl. This is where I'm rinsing the veggies before chopping them. And if you use some kind of, uh, well, cider vinegar is really good. I'm just watching because Bella is on the lurk, lurking, <laughs> is on the lurk. <laughs> Bella is on the loose and she's lurking and she looks like she's going to try and push these cloche lids off to steal the seedlings, but I won't let her. She's a wee toe rag. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, the, the cider vinegar, it just helps to clean the vegetables, but using the natural chemicals rather than, and helping to strip the pesticides or anything off the veggies, it helps to clean them. Ah, 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 cheeky one, no. It helps to, hang on a second. Right, yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on this little bism over here. Oh, she's just a monkey. So yeah, it helps anyway, it helps to clean them and do it in a way that's not using more chemicals that could be harmful. So that's my wee tip. So yeah, we're going to get chopping and I'm going to make us a big pot of carrot and coriander and sweet potato soup. And I'll freeze some of it and see if she'd like to take some of it home for another meal another time. The fresh coriander at the moment is in the fridge because Miss Bella keeps trying to eat it and even when I put it on top of the fridge she's trying to jump up on top of the fridge to get it. She's a really cheeky little one. Um, so I mentioned in a previous video I'm still trying to decide how to plant and how to keep and store fresh herbs in the kitchen. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to hang stuff up from either the ceiling or at the top of the window and have upside down jars or other jars and have them kind of suspended. But I haven't figured this out yet. It's still to be decided. But yeah, we're going to do some chopping and batch chopping at that and freezing a whole bunch of veggies. The other thing that you'll see in the video coming up is, as part of my gift spend, I bought a big, huge trifle, and unfortunately the expiry date date for the trifle is, I think it's either the 4th or 5th of March, so it's not going to keep till Mother's Day. That's the special somebody who it's for, who's visiting today, so we'll just have to have it early, and maybe I'll buy her another trifle or some other kind of cake for Mother's Day and uh, oh yeah the other thing I was gonna just keeping an eye on that little one the other thing that I'm gonna do is show you some ideas for I meant to do this two videos ago sorry <laughs> I'm gonna show you some ideas for budget-friendly well, what my first budget-friendly idea for breakfast comes out at about 50 pence in pound sterling well, half a pound 50p um, it comes out about 50p a serving so it's a really good bargain breakfast So my shopping's here, my Asda online shop has arrived. So I'll give you a wee tour around my worktops to show you what's here. So as far as fruit and veg is concerned, there's aubergines, courgette, onions. I actually 
meant to only buy the red ones. I've accidentally bought two types, but they'll not go to waste. And then there's peas and corn that are frozen. The loose parsnips, I'm not very impressed. Some of them are not very fresh at all. I mean, look at that. It's not very good, is it? Well, all the fresh veggies, my mum is going to kindly lend a hand with chopping them. And then I can freeze a whole bunch of the things. Chopped tomatoes, tinned, tinned baked beans, tinned mixed bean salad and tinned spaghetti hoops. And then there's some fresh coriander and back to the fresh veggies carrots a whole load of peppers and sweet potatoes won't be freezing the sweet potatoes again the mushrooms i'm not very impressed they're not very fresh compared to what i would have picked by myself so i'm not so thrilled about that but what i will do is i'll be chopping them with assistance and freezing them before they spoil. There's no date on that, but I don't know. I suppose it's because they've been traveling, this condensation. But no, I'm not very happy about the freshness. So I'll be careful what fresh things I order from Asda in future. Then two packets of the tomatoes. I don't know how they would freeze. I don't think I'm going to be freezing them. I think I'll just do all my cooking that involves fresh tomatoes early on. And then dried foods. This is part of a meal that I'm going to be making. Watch this space. And then some lasagna sheets, some decaf coffee. I've already got regular coffee to keep me going. Pita breads. Greek style yogurts, they're plain because I'll be adding fruit, fresh fruit to them for flavour or dried fruit. Two packs of mozzarella. So I've got some specific recipes in mind for a lot of these ingredients. Meat free mince, eggs, and then in the household and cleaning category, there's these. And then the other things that were in the online shop are not part of my weekly food and household cleaning and toiletries essentials budget these are these are things that are out with that so there's tins of bella food and then there's also these these are coming out of the christmas and birthday gifts fund they're for a specific somebody who loves both these things. <laughs> and these are coming out of the stock up fund. I don't need these things yet and I'm not going to need them for quite a long time. But it was a good opportunity while I was doing an online shop to stock up. So that includes soy sauce, spray cooking, spray oil, sunflower and olive oil. And some spare coffee, because that always comes in handy. Spare washing up liquid and a couple of bottles of white vinegar spray. And I get through that at the allotment and for cleaning at home. It's my main thing I use for cleaning because it's a lot more natural than many chemical products. And I could probably use it for more things, but I do find it's great for many things. And as I say, it's not toxic like a lot of things can be potentially. So I'll make sure to add in all the figures for how much the total cost was. So this stuff is all going to be week one and week two food, household and toiletries total. So I've worked out the totals, but first let's give you a wee tour. <laughs> the freezer is bursting at the seams so I'm gonna have to use up some of my uh frozen meals I think there's about 10 or 11 frozen meals which is pretty good so I need to use them up a to free up some Tupperware and b to make some space I couldn't fit all the frozen veg in let me show you There's still loads. And there's also a bit of carrot cake left, which I'm well chuffed about. 
and there's an extra portion of soup. So there you go. So somebody wants to play. She's going back into her wee spot. <laughs> we'll play after. Okay, cheeky face. Is that okay with you? Good girl. I've already had a game with her this morning. It's because she wants more treats. That's what it is. It's just cupboard love. So my totals are... Let's have a look in here again while I just tell you. So the Asda shop was 81.55 for the whole week. Not the whole week, for the, the two weeks worth of food and stuff. So take off 17.50 for Bella's food, 3.90 for the gifts money, and 7.78 for the stock up items. And it came to 47 pounds 18 for the food. £4.55p for the cleaning products. <laughs> so the total spend for weeks one and weeks two is £57.37p, which means it's 263 within budget. Hooray! So week the rest of week one and week two, I have 263 left for any essentials. So I may get some soya milk or something with that money. We'll see. I'll let you know next week <laughs> if I've bought anything else. But that's a wee summary of how the Asda shopping and the chopping of veggies went. If it wasn't for my mum, if it wasn't for my mum, my right hand and arm would be mega sore. So she's really helped me out. And uh, she enjoyed the soup and there was plenty for us and it was really great to have her visit she's obviously very special to me and i uh, love her very much and it was nice to spoil her but she spoiled me too because she brought some carrot cake so it was all very good anyway enough gabbing from me i'll say goodbye thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it and anyone who's left comments thank you so much I really love to read your comments and it's so nice to be able to share experiences so I really really love it when I see that I've had a comment from one of you and everyone who's subscribed and is following the channel I really appreciate it it means a lot so thank you very much again and see you next time best wishes and take care and happy, frugal, minimal spend march. Bye.